In the scorching heat of the Magma 7 desert, explosions echo through the air as the soldiers of the 2nd Battalion, now part of the Intergalactic Infantry Corps, seek refuge in their makeshift trenches. Sergeant John, equipped with an advanced anti-armor weapon, stands ready for battle. Having left his civilian life behind to join the interstellar conflict, John braces himself for the imminent clash. The enemy forces rain down fire on the Intergalactic Infantry Corps from a mere 300 yards away. Their advanced Goliath tank is leading the assault. Goliath is a heavily armored behemoth armed with devastating plasma cannons. Its very mention strikes fear into the hearts of the intergalactic infantry troops. With its almost impenetrable shields and powerful weaponry, the Goliath poses a formidable threat to the galactic infantry equipped with only basic anti-armor weaponry. We must secure the Goliath, John yells, at fellow soldiers. With urgency, several soldiers scramble towards a derelict anti-tank emplacement salvaging ammunition from the captured enemy positions and reorienting the weapon for use against the Goliath. The enemy crew, aware of the consequences if the Goliath tank is captured, have rigged their Goliath with self-destruct charges, making its neutralization a daunting task for the intergalactic infantry forces. Yet the prospect of overcoming such a formidable foe spurs the soldiers onward. Meanwhile, from the depths of the battlefield, waves of enemy infantry surge forth, shielded by the imposing forms of the Goliath heavy tank. Despite the overwhelming odds, the soldiers of the Intergalactic Infantry Corps emerge from their defensive positions, raining down plasma fire upon the encroaching enemy forces. Though met with fierce resistance from the Goliath's weaponry, the intergalactic infantry troops press on. The enemy advances halted, their ranks decimated by the barrage of plasma fire, the Goliath maintaining his barrage, trapping the intergalactic infantry corps in their defensive positions. Despite possessing the means to counterattack with the salvaged anti-tank weapon, the intergalactic infantry troops remain wary of exposing themselves to the overwhelming firepower of the enemy. Undeterred, the Dominion forces launch a second wave of infantry assaults, but the resolve of the intergalactic infantry corps remains unshaken. They repel the enemy assault. On board the leading Goliath, the commander seethes with frustration as the intergalactic infantry resistance persists. Determined to demonstrate the might of the Dominion's war machine, he issues orders for his armored units to provide covering fire as he leads the charge against the intergalactic infantry positions with Goliath. Protect my flank. I advance. He yells. With a deafening roar, the Goliath surges forward, its metallic hull bearing the distinctive insignia of the enemy forces. Meanwhile, Atop the hills, the soldiers of the Intergalactic Infantry Corps watch in disbelief as the monstrous Goliath bears down upon them. Intergalactic Infantry soldiers seek cover with urgency, their plasma weaponry proving ineffective against the Goliath's impenetrable shields. Despite their valiant efforts, their attacks merely serve to irritate the crew within the behemoth's armored shell. In the distance, a squadron of Centaur tanks detects the oncoming Goliath, emerging ominously from its concealed position. Inside, the lead Centaur tank commander screams to fire, Gunner swiftly aligns his sights, and fires a plasma shell. The projectile veers off course, striking an intergalactic infantry reconnaissance drone and engulfing it in a fiery explosion. Observing the battlefield, the Goliath commander grimly acknowledges the multitude of intergalactic infantry forces. By the stars, there are too many. Earth tanks are everywhere. Distance, 500 meters. The commander's complexion pales as he recognizes the formidable threat posed by the advanced 
intergalactic infantry, Centaur tanks. Instantly, he orders a tactical retreat, prioritizing the safety of his forces. With precision, the Centaur tank gunners lock onto their targets, though hitting the evasive Goliath at such a distance proves challenging. Despite the obstacles, the lead Centaur tank's gunner maintains focus and releases a plasma shell. The projectile streaks towards its target, veering slightly off course as it encounters defensive countermeasures. Amidst the chaos, Sergeant John maintains his position, gripping his advanced anti-tank device with determination. Witnessing the Goliath's retreat, his comrades urge him onward, recognizing the opportunity presented. You've got this, John. Despite facing insurmountable odds, John steals himself for the confrontation, his focus unwavering as he advances towards the Goliath's position. As he approaches, the Goliath re-emerges from cover, targeting the Centaur tanks with devastating firepower. The intergalactic infantry forces retaliate, their plasma rounds impacting the Goliath's hull with little effect, the enemy's armor proving impenetrable against their assault. Despite the overwhelming force of the Goliath's weaponry, Sergeant John maintains his composure in the face of the enemy. With a steady hand, he aims his anti-tank device and fires, the projectile hurtling towards its target with deadly accuracy. However, his hopes are dashed as the warhead ricochets off the Goliath's reinforced hull, leaving it unscathed. Undeterred, John takes cover, evading the retaliatory fire from the Goliath as he strategizes his next move. With the Goliath's attempt to realign its position, the Intergalactic Infantry Corps unleashes barrage of plasma fire, supported by the salvaged anti-tank emplacement. Their combined assault targets the vulnerable areas of the Goliath's armor, causing significant damage to its weaponry and mobility systems. With precise coordination, the Intergalactic Infantry Forces exploit the Goliath's vulnerabilities, disrupting its operations and inflicting casualties upon the crew. Recognizing the dire situation, the Goliath commander issues a desperate command to abandon tank as his crew evacuates their disabled vessel. With the Goliath's crew in retreat, the Intergalactic Infantry Forces secure their position, yet remaining on high alert, aware of the ever-present threat of enemy resurgence. The incapacitated and captured Goliath serves as a proof to the Intergalactic Infantry Forces' capabilities on battlefield. News of their victory spreads throughout the liberated city of Taurus, drawing the attention of prominent leaders, including United Earth President, who arrived to witness the captured Goliath heavy tank firsthand.